Hi, I'm Terry with Lacrosse Technology, and this is the 9004 wireless rain gauge. We're going to go through the initial setup of this gauge, and to do that, uh, we're going to initially put the uh, d display away and turn our sights to the sensor itself. Uh, in opening the sensor on the bottom, you have two small tabs. Just pressing those tabs towards the center allows you to open the rain gauge. Find a tipping mechanism and we're going to put batteries into the rain gauge. The batteries in here are triple A. We just lift the edge up and put a set of fresh triple A batteries in here according to the diagram. We want to make certain that our batteries are name brand and to guarantee freshness we take the current year we add six and that should be the year on our battery uh, a year after that so if you get 2017 you have 2018s or 2019s even better initially we're not going to put the top back on the rain gauge you may have noticed that come out that just makes easier cleaning and we're going to put the gauge about three to five feet away and take the display unit we peel the protective coating from the display unit and we're just going to turn that over open the bottom by pressing the tab towards the battery door and again AAA batteries and we're looking for the same idea of name brands and date codes we close the unit up notice it beeps and it's going to search now for that sensor when it finds that sensor those dashes should go to zeros and it can take up to two minutes to receive that signal from the sensor. Once we have those zeros, what we want to do is set the time. To set the time, we press the set button, the alarm set button, and hold that down. We can set a maximum rain alarm for 24 hours by pressing the set button until the 24 hour rain flashes on the bottom here. You'll hear the beep. And we can use the plus button to determine what amount of rain in 24 hours we want to have set an alarm. Let's say we want a quarter of an inch in 24 hours. We've set it at a quarter of an inch. Press the alarm button again. It goes back to the zero that's been read and a little alarm icon is on. Notice that we have a little battery here with TX in it. That's really telling me that the batteries I put in the outdoor unit are not completely charged, that they should be replaced pretty soon. There's another battery that says RX that's uh, just to the left of that. If that comes on, it's telling you that the uh, main unit needs to have its battery replaced. To reset the rain total in the top window, you press the reset button and hold it. The total will go to zero. The 24-hour rain total cannot be reset. That uh, resets automatically every 24 hours from the time you start the station. As well, what you'll find is this is reading in inches now. It can be set for millimeters. And there is a little cloud icon showing whether you have light or heavy rain, depending on how much rain is received in a certain amount of time. If we tip the buckets on the gauge, you'll notice that we've made a little bit of rain. We have a 24-hour rainfall amount of just under that quarter of an inch. If we take it to a quarter of an inch that we set, yep, we got past it. It's giving us an alarm. Pressing the alarm button turns that off. And it's still going to flash for a few moments. To reset our total rain, just press this and hold it down, and we get to zero.